Have you considered using virtual assistants in your business but just weren't sure where to start or how it even works? I'm Adam Hooley and welcome to part five of my seven part series on implementing virtual assistants into your business. For part five, we're going to walk through how to document your property management processes. So this video is specific to property management businesses, but we're going to talk about the best way to communicate your systems and procedures and your processes to your offshore team so they can do their job most effectively. So one of the first things that we use when we're documenting our processes is we use screen recording or video recordings. Now I've been using this type of technology for many years and I've done many, many screen recordings. And in fact, what you're watching right now is a screen recording of this particular presentation. So what we do is we go through and we record a process from start to finish. Now we would also document it and we would put it in a workflow tool, which we'll talk about in a sec. But the idea is, is that you would record each process uh, as a screen recording for the for the ones that require software use and things like that. Obviously, if you, you've got the making phone calls and things like that, that doesn't need to happen. But if you're using particular software and you have particular processes that need to take place, the easiest way to do that is through a screen recording. Now, screen recording doesn't take as long as you think it does. And in fact, all that you need to do is just literally hit the record button, record, do the process yourself, and record that and hit stop and you've done it. It doesn't need to be anything formal. It doesn't need to be anything flash. It's just a simple recording. Now that's the best way to communicate those processes to your offshore team member. Now in part four of this series, I spoke about how we were building out systems and procedures. This allows you to actually do it for your onshore team as well. So many people start doing these offshore procedures for the team and realize we should do it for our onshore team because it makes it a lot easier to induct our new team members onshore. So what we're finding is that they're building all these new processes for their offshore team and finding that they're very, very suitable for their onshore team as well. So screen recording, that's the first thing you might wanna do. There are a couple of, of apps that are very easy to use. Loom is one of them and Soapbox is another uh, where you can actually set those up very, very quickly uh, and do your screen recordings uh, for training purposes. So the second thing I want to talk to you about is the task management tools. Now I've just dragged this slide out of a previous part to this series, so it probably looks familiar. And the slide that we talked about before was about how to communicate with your team members and manage tasks and things like that. So for them to manage tasks, often you need to document the processes inside those tasks. So again, looking at these same things, the three that I have had a lot to do with is Jira, Trello, Asana. Um, they're ones that I have uh, used with my teams and I have used with other businesses that have outsourced and they're very, very easy to go through and actually doc document your systems and processes. So you put them all there in dot form and they literally just step through them one by one and follow them. It's very easy to do and it's very simple to set up. Now, often we do this as part of the onboarding. So if you engage a virtual assistant in your team, it could take us about a month. It's no different from any other hiring process. It could take us about a month to uh, advertise, recruit, do the interview processes. And that allows that month for you to sit down while we're doing that and start documenting all the systems and procedures. Now we talked about in an early part to this series about how we want to ramp up the VAs. We don't want to just dump a heap of work on them. And there could be a bit of a ramp up period. So we're going to put some basic tasks on them to start with. So it also allows you to continue building out your systems and frameworks as you're documenting them and onboarding these new team members into your businesses. So this one's very important. Using video calls, and also these workflow tools to document the systems and procedures for your virtual assistant teams. Now we're always available to help you with this sort of stuff. We don't expect you to go out and do it yourself. Um, so we can help you put these frameworks together. That's it for part five of next generation virtual assistants in your business. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel so you can be updated on all the other parts to this particular series. I'm Adam Hooley, talk again soon.